Hey guys and welcome to Hands On Cooking. My name is Chris. Today we're making a buttermilk fried chicken sandwich. This will be quite similar to the one from Popeyes. Ours will be better though, just because we'll be able to put the type of seasoning that we want into it and make it just the way we want. Now let's get into the recipe. For our buttermilk fried chicken sandwich, we're gonna need two boneless chicken breasts, one cup of buttermilk, and if you don't have that, there's a description in the recipe how to make it. We're gonna use paprika, one cup of flour, half cup of cornstarch, salt and pepper, garlic powder. So we'll be putting a buttermilk fried chicken sandwich on a brioche bun, a medium brioche bun. So now we'll work on the chicken and the marinade. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna start off by working on the, the chicken breast. What we wanna do, we're going to pound our chicken breast in between the plastic wrap here. So I washed and I cleaned the chicken breast already. So as you can see, this is how thick it is. I'm simply gonna put it in between, I'm gonna put it on the plastic wrap here. And then we're gonna pound the chicken. We're gonna use this. This is the heaviest thing I have right now. You can use a bottle or anything that you can pound the chicken out with. Just wanna get it flat. I'm gonna take the plastic wrap off. And this is how thin our chicken is now. So it went from what it was before to this thin slab. So now what I can do, to get out the plastic wrap. So now I'll just cut it in half. This is about the size of the bun that I have. So I'm gonna cut it here. So you have a thinner piece of chicken breast to about the size of the bun. So I'm gonna do it for the other breast. We're gonna pound that out and then we'll cut it in half as well. And then we'll move on to the marinating phase. We're gonna combine a few things here for our marinade. We're gonna start off by adding some paprika to our bowl here. Garlic powder. Salt. And then pepper. And then we'll add the buttermilk. And we'll mix all of this together. So this will be our marinade for our chicken breast. After we mix this together, we're gonna to put the chicken in here and let it marinate for 24 hours. Now that we have this nice and mixed, we're gonna add our chicken breast in to the marinade and we'll let it sit for 24 hours. We're letting this sit for 24 hours because we want all the seasoning and all the flavors from the marinade to seep into the chicken. So we can have that amazing taste. So we'll cover this with some plastic wrap and we'll put it in the fridge overnight for 24 hours. And then we'll come back and we'll be able to have our buttermilk fried chicken sandwich tomorrow. Before we take the chicken breast out of the fridge, we're gonna work on our breading. We're gonna combine these ingredients here. We're gonna start off with a cup of flour, half cup of cornstarch, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, this will make it spicy. And lastly, one teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt. So we'll mix this together and we'll put it to the side and then we'll work on our spicy mayo sauce. So we'll mix this together. Uh, this is nice and mixed in. We'll put this to the side and we'll work on our spicy mayonnaise sauce. For our spicy mayo sauce, we're gonna combine a few things. We're gonna start off by adding a half cup of mayonnaise to our bigger bowl here. Followed by half teaspoon of garlic powder and then one teaspoon of paprika. And then lastly, we'll add one teaspoon of hot sauce. Of course, you can choose any type of hot sauce of your liking. And then we'll mix 
We'll mix this all together. So after it's mixed, this is what your sauce should look like. So now we'll take the chicken out of the fridge, get it breaded, and we'll head over to the stove to fry. Alrighty guys, so I have about three cups of oil in our large pot here. I'm gonna bring the oil to about 350 degrees. While this heats up, I'm gonna take the chicken out of the fridge and we'll bread it. Alrighty, so I've, I just took the chicken from the fridge and as we wait for our oil to get to 350 degrees, we're just gonna mix this in one last time before we get it into the flour. We let this rest overnight just to get the maximum flavor. You could have started your chicken and fried it if you wanted the same day. All right, so this is nice and mixed in. We'll get our flour batter back into the pitcher. And we'll take one breast and we'll just simply dip it into the flour and we want to get it as breaded as possible. Nice and thick. So I'm going to do this for all four pieces, get it nice and breaded. So essentially you want to have it look like this. This is what your chicken should look like. We're just waiting for the oil to hit 350 degrees and we'll get these frying. And our pot is reading 350 degrees. Now we're gonna pop these in. We're gonna fry them on each side for about three to five minutes. And then that should be it. So now we'll pop these in. I'm gonna do two at a time. So it's been three minutes, we're gonna take a look here. This is what one side looks like. We're just gonna flip it over to the other side and we'll let it fry for another three minutes. It looks beautiful. So we'll cook this side for three minutes and then we'll take it out. So we have three minutes on the other side, now we can take these out. In our very last step, we're gonna take our brioche bun and we're gonna to toast them face down for about a minute or two. So we'll take a look at our buns. Okay, nice and toasted, beautiful. So we'll take all of these out and we'll put our sandwich together. All right guys, so we have our chicken breast here, our toasted buns, our pickles and our mayo sauce. So now we'll put our sandwich together and we'll be ready to eat. All right guys, so we're gonna put our sandwich together. We're gonna start off going this way. We'll take our spicy mayo and we'll paste it on both sides of the bread. And then of course I have pickles. I'm gonna put this on top. And then we'll add our chicken breast. Put them both on top. And then that's it guys. Our buttermilk fried chicken sandwich for today. Please let me know what you think about the recipe. Would you add anything to it? Would you take anything away? Also, please like and subscribe to the channel for reading the recipes. Again, my name is Chris, and I'll say enjoy.